Hello there, and welcome to Obscura TV, the show where we look at the forgotten and fantastical annals of television history to figure out what happened, what went on, and what went wrong. I am your host for this evening, Theo Y, and I shall be your Caesar of the Silver Screen. Tonight, we're going to look at one of the longest-running legacies in media history. A show, a comic industry, that lasted for nearly a hundred years unchanged, until it came screaming into the 21st century with varied results. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready to get weird as we investigate Archie's Weird Mysteries! The premise of the show is loosely based around a science experiment gone wrong at Riverdale High, which transforms the entire town into a magnet for B-movie plots and monsters. Archie and the gang must now go out and try to solve these weird mysteries while also dealing with the hurdles and trials of being a teenager. With an entertainment juggernaut like Archie's being so popular as it is, and having so many different properties under its names, you might be wondering why we're talking about a show as obscure as Archie's Weird Mysteries. Well, while this show might not be as famous as Archie's other properties, it is certainly the most infamous. At the time of the show's inceptions, the entire Archie Comics company had undergone a radical change. After many years of success, it was starting to show a noticeable downturn. What's more, the company was eventually turned over to the new CEOs of Nancy Silverblight and John Goldwater. The two fundamentally disagreed on what direction to take the company. John Goldwater believing that they needed to change or die out, while Nancy Silverblight believed they should stay the course, and was firmly of the mind, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Their disagreement eventually led to an all-out civil war that split the company right down the middle, leading to one of the most chaotic times in the company's entire history. And that was the environment that Archie's Weird Mysteries was created in. It's fascinating to think of and kind of hard to imagine what kind of show we could possibly get out of all of that chaos. So, let's take a look at the first episode of Archie's Weird Mysteries and figure it out. Attack of the Killer Spots! Something is taking over Riverdale, one teenager at a time, and it's turning them into zombies! Can Archie save his friends from this ghastly doom? Attack of the Killer Spots! Ah yes, I find that there is no better way to start a show about mystery than revealing the entire mystery in the first three seconds. I haven't even started this show yet, and I'm already pissed off. Of course I've seen this one. Um, everyone's seen this one. So why are we watching it again? Archie, it's a classic. A classic dud? Come on, Jughead, it's a great day outside. Let's bust out the bikes and go for a ride. Shh, here comes the bit where she finds out her best friend is a mindless zombie. Sheesh, I know how she feels. And now we hear a conversation between Jughead and Archie that sounds like every conversation I've had with my mother since I was 12 years old. Anyway, apparently him and Jughead are going to a TV station to pick up some sort of prize Jughead won the night before. So, tell me about this contest again. Well, it's like I said. When the movie marathon ended at midnight, I was totally in the zone. The zone? When you're so wrapped up in something that you don't even notice the world around you. Anyway, that's when the lady from the station comes on and says, We've got a prize for the first person who can call in and name all the movies in today's marathon. Huh? Well, if there's anything that can snap me out of the zone, it's freebies. Or food. Or in this case, both. You've got to be kidding! A potato! What kind of lousy prize is a potato? Why, it's a lucky potato for a lucky couch potato. Wow, dick move, lady. I mean, you're the one that offered the prize for people watching your channel, and you just troll them? Really, lady, what is wrong with you? Hey! Come on, spud boy.
The Earthling promised one of them some sort of prize. I knew you'd like that, Master. I knew you'd like that a lot. Okay, apparently it was terrible voice acting. Anyway, we cut back to Jughead's house where his special potato it prize is a lot more voice special acting. than God, we were led to believe. Package. Glad you're here. Huh? Huh? Ah! What? What's wrong? Ah! Huh? What the? What the? Oh, good lord. I've certainly seen enough anime to know where this is going. Ah! Oh, lord. And the dog, too? Skip it, skip it, skip it! I'm getting a little worried about Jughead. You're telling me. He's turning into a couch potato. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, Jughead? It's nice to see you out of the house there, buddy, but, uh, what's with the pot? Whoa, Archie, what the hell? Don't be a narc. Wait, you mean an actual flower pot? Okay, though to be honest, if anybody would be holding, it would probably be Jughead. Dirt is good for you, Arch. It's rich in nutrients that can be absorbed through the feet. Uh, okay. I think your freaky friend is finally flipped. Say, Arch, you can make it one of your stories. The Weird Mystery of Jughead's Bogus Brain. Huh? huh? Ah! This blouse came from Paris! <laughs> The fries are good, but they're not that good. Oh, I'd never eat french fried potatoes. No one ever should. <laughs> I think he is suffering from sleep deprivation. Promise me you'll go home and get some shut-eye. Only if you'll keep my new friends company while I'm gone. Your new friends? Yes, Archie, because that out of this whole situation is what seems the most suspicious. I think this is a good time to probably mention the animation as the show. As you've probably noticed by now, it kinda sucks. Yeah, the characters definitely match the art style of the original comics, and I will give them that, but the way they're animated and move is so janky, and when you couple that with the ridiculous voice acting, it's almost unwatchable. We're gonna move out of that scene to something a little less awkward. Teenage romance! I want to put my arm around Betty, but I've got to play it cool. I hope he puts his arm around me, but I don't want to look too anxious. Popcorn? Uh, sure, thanks. Oh, too anxious. I scared him off. Was that a signal? Aw, oh, gee, I'm too nervous. I gotta make my move, but when? Hello? Board of Education? I heard you're looking for a new abstinence-only video. We'll get a load of this! This is it. Careful now. Careful. Mm -hmm. What the? Was that my shirt? Oh, Archie. I guess you should have made your move a little sooner. It soon appears that the potato in Betty's purse is a little more lively than one might have thought. And, say it with me, we've all seen enough anime to know where this is going. Well, much to the disappointment of Betty here, uh, Archie manages to free her from the vines, and only now does it appear they're ready to go investigate. Are you okay? Sure, but what, what's going on? I don't know, but I think we need to talk to Jughead about his new friends, the Potatoes. And they head off to check on Jughead, discovering the grisly scene. And now we finally figure out what the dastardly plan of our villains actually is. I don't believe this! Glad you could stop by. You're not Jughead. What are you? I was once a mere potato, but I have been liberated by the Master. Freed by the Great Potato. The Great Potato? Even now, the Master's thoughts are being broadcast to all the potatoes of Riverdale. Potatoes that will bide their time. Waiting until the humans aren't paying attention. 
Yes, when they're distracted just doing random crap. Seriously, I don't think this potato plot makes a lot of sense, no matter how you slice it. Never having to think or do anything ever again. Kind of like watching television forever. Pretty cool, huh? If you don't believe me, ask Betty. Join us. You'll like it, Archie. Come on, Arch. Everyone's doing it. So Archie, not wanting to succumb to peer pressure, seeks out help and discovers an ally he may not have expected. The police. I've got to try the police. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah! Whoa! Sorry about that. Are you okay? Yeah, this guy's name is Dilton. He's some sort of super genius that can build and invent a lot of stuff, which of course in this show translates to being a NERD! This seems like a good time to point out the biggest flaw of the show, the characters. Now, while Archie's characters have never really been that complex or fleshed out, they were still likable. They might have been simple and placed in simple cookie-cutter stories, but you still enjoyed watching them. Hell, I can even pick up an Archie's comic book today and still like reading it. Still get a few chuckles out of the old ones, too, because I enjoy seeing the characters, no matter what situation you put them in. But if you have characters that are boring, or even worse, unlikable, then it just serves to point out even more of the flaws that go on with the show. And it's not just that the characters are boring or uninteresting, they're downright mean. I mean, seriously, take a look at some of these guys. You mean the spoiled, self-centered, whiny, rich girl stage? The one that started the day Veronica took her first breath? Archie, <gasps> the top is down. The wind will mess up my hair. If Veronica were a genius, she'd be Albert Weinstein. And if she were a credit card, she'd be the International Winers Club card. It could be worse. How do you figure that? You could be Archie. So annoying. Who wants to watch these guys ever? So anyway, by a miraculous stroke, Archie and Dilton figure out that the Spuds are being controlled by the radio antenna at the TV station and go there to shut it down. But they are soon surrounded by a deadly army of couch potatoes who attack them in the most menacing fashion possible by doing the thriller. Archie, go! You're our only chance, Archie! You're our only... <laughs> Time to become one with the great potato. Alright! Okay, Archie, you're the only one left and it's all up to you. If he can just reach the switch. The switch, Archie. It's right there. Oh, for God's sake, just pull it! Ah! I'm sorry. Could you play that again? Whoa! Just, oh my god. I, I don't even have a really a joke for that scene. It's just so goddamn funny. Okay. Archie manages to successfully free all his friends, and the town is finally saved. But one more mystery still remains unanswered. Hey, you did it, Archie! You- Ow! I guess you're right. I did. I- I, I don't know where the great potato came from. I think 
think I know how we got here. Really? Space aliens. Okay, that just about makes as much sense as anything else in this show. And he's just some random monster thing. Yeah, I guess he's supposed to look like a potato, but honestly, he just looks like a sack of crap with eyeballs and tentacles. And, well, say it with me now, we've all seen enough anime to know what happens next. for a baked potato? I don't know what happened to the great potato after that, but his ship flew away and we never saw any of his kind again. As for Jughead, well, he still watches TV, but now he's doing other things too. It's like I told him before, watching a little TV is great, but too much can turn a guy into a zombie. And for the nation's big produce suppliers, one weird mystery still remains. Why no one orders potatoes anymore. In a little town called Riverdale. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that the entire lesson of your first episode of a show you want people to watch was to watch less TV? Well, you know what, Archie's Weird Mysteries? I think you'll take your advice, because after this, I never want to see any of this ever again. This whole show is ridiculous. The characters are intolerable. The story plot is non-existent. The animation might look like a comic book when it doesn't look like a cluttered mess. And everything about it is just bad. Just 100% bad. The company at the time that made this show was in the middle of a civil war. The entire corporate structure split down the middle, and it shows in this episode. If this show is anything to go on, that fight must have been brutal. Luckily though, we don't have to deal with any more weird Archie material. We can just sit back with some of the classics and read to our... Wait a minute. No, that can't be, it's, it's not true, it's, it can't be! No, no, no it can't be true! No, you did it, you maniacs, you made it, you Fools! Damn you to hell! Damn you to hell! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? I can't do this again!